Hey guys, I'm Molly Dixon. Welcome back to the Expert Guide. Today I'm gonna to be talking about what to wear on different types of dates. So the first look I'm gonna be talking about is what to wear on a day date. This could be anything from going to a museum, doing brunch, walking a park. The tricky thing about day dates is you wanna be really cute, but you also really wanna be comfortable. You're probably gonna be doing a lot of walking around, so I always opt for wearing cute sneakers and then mixing it with a really cute feminine dress. So for Renee, I chose a Majorelle floral dress, and the thing that I love about this for the day date is it has halter straps. So if she does an activity such as mini golf or you know doing a walk in the park, she's not gonna be tugging up the dress, whereas if she was wearing strapless, she would be doing that. So I'm gonna pair it with some black bands, which I like the juxtaposition of the dark color against the girly feminine floral dress. For accessories, I'm gonna do just a gold hoop earring. You don't wanna over accessorize on a day date because you don't wanna look like you're trying too hard. Um, if you wanted to wear a necklace, I would pair it with a more delicate, dainty earring. But I like the gold earring with this. And if you know that you're just doing brunch and not gonna be doing an activity, you could swap out the sneakers for like a lower sandal. And lastly, I would pair this with a crossbody bag, which I think is perfect for a day date because you'll have your hands free to do activities. And this is the final look. So the second look I'm gonna talk about is what you should wear to a casual night date. This could be a comedy club, a dive bar, or a concert. It's something a little bit more elevated than what you would wear to a day date, but it's not as dressy as something you'd wear to like a fancy dinner. I personally always opt for denim and a cool sexy top and pairing it with heels. One important thing is that when you are wearing a crop top, I always like to have the jeans cover the belly button. I think it's weird when a lot of skin is showing between the bottom of the crop top and the bottom of the jeans. The thing that I love about this crop top is that it is very versatile. You can keep it a little bit more girly and fun by having the little bow in the front, or you can transition it to the bow in the back. One important thing to note when you're wearing a low cut top like the one Renee has on is that it's really important to wear double sided tape to prevent the top from shifting. My favorite is using men's toupee double sided tape. It's really, really strong and you won't have to keep swapping out the double sided tape throughout the night. It'll, it'll stay the whole night. I then paired the look with these Song of Style thong sandals. They're not super high, so if you end up walking after the date, like you'll still be comfortable. The shoes have um, faux snakeskin on it, which I think is a really cool contrast with the floral top. I, I like to mix prints sometimes, and I think that this is a subtle and cute way in doing that. So when you're wearing a low neckline like this, I normally opt out of wearing necklaces because I think that this line is really pretty with the bare skin. So I'm gonna put on some bigger poops. These ones are from Etika and they're a little bit more elevated than a normal gold hoop because they have small pave diamonds on them. And lastly, I'm gonna pair it with a small tote. This Balenciaga one is actually, it can be converted to a crossbody, but I think it's more elevated and formal just as a tote. And that's the final look. And for the final look, I'm gonna be talking about what to wear on a fancier date night. This could be going to a cocktail lounge, a fancy dinner date, or just a date where you wanna be a little bit more dressy. I personally always opt for a little black dress. I chose this Michael Costello one for Renee. I think it fits her body amazingly. It's super sexy. I would pair it with this Song of Style blazer just for when she's going to the date. I love how it gives the look a little bit of a masculinity. So when she takes it off, he's gonna see her in the little black dress. 
I would also pair it with these nude Ray shoes. What I like about these shoes is that there's no ankle strap on them and they're nude. So if she was wearing an ankle strap, it would cut her leg off, but this makes it one long line and it elongates her leg. For jewelry, since it is a fancier night out, I would pick a longer, more ch chandelier type earring, like this gold one from Etika. I'm not one to over accessorize, so I think if you do a big earring, you don't need any other jewelry. I would finish this look off with some sort of a statement lip, but also keep the eyes pretty natural because you don't want to have a strong lip and a strong eye. I think it looks very messy. So I would either do a strong eye or a statement lip. And the last thing she needs is a black evening clutch and she's ready to go on that date. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below which one was your favorite date night look. And don't forget to subscribe to Revolve's YouTube channel. Thank you.